A world record transfer fee. The fee is rumored to be 153 million. That's right, lads. The today's episode of rumor transfers is going to be one of the biggest we've done so far. This is a double upload weekend. We did a confirmed transfer video yesterday, as you guys can see here. I said to you guys, if you smash 4,000 likes in that video, I will bring you guys a rumor transfer one today. You guys doubled that again. It's got like 8,500, 9,000 likes, which is literally insane in like a day. Actually, it's less than a day. It's like 15 hours or something like that, which is just, just incredible. Today, I've got a new offer for you. I've got a banging, a banging deal. Okay, I've got a great idea and I want to know if you guys want to see it. I'm setting a big goal here. Obviously, if this video gets 5,000 likes, okay, so same as all the other episodes, 5,000 likes, I'll bring another confirmed transfer one in the week this week. But if we can hit 5,000 likes, I'm going to bring you guys a two-hour live stream on transfer deadline day of all the transfers as they happen. That's right, lads. You've been enjoying the transfer episodes on my channel and I think this could be a big finale for the end of the transfer window. A massive live stream, doing all, looking at all the new cards, all the new transfers, Transfers, all the new rumors sign ins. If you guys want to see that live stream on the transfer deadline day, drop a like on this video down below. Let's hit 5,000 before 24 hours. Let's smash it. And if you guys want to open any FIFA packs or buy any FIFA coins, check out footbomb.com in the description down below. Use Rossi to check out our page for a 10% discount. But who's ready to start the confirmed transfers of this episode, okay? Because it's pretty big. It's some of the biggest. Let's get into the first player. I hope you guys are ready for these because these are five massive players. They've all got cards. Okay, let's just say this all the Ultimate Team players' are cards have at least a 90 rated card. That is right. The first player we're going to take a look at, though, is Dimitri Payet. Now, this guy is obviously lit and he's just, he just had an amazing season. Now, he's banging in the Euros. Okay, two goals in two games. He's, like, scored both the winners or whatever for France. And the first goal, the first game. That was cheeky, mate. That was So, apparently, Payet signed a £125,000 weekly deal at West Ham, which is, like, a club record or whatever. So, he's on the biggest, he's, he's the highest paid player at West Ham, basically. But you can't help but feel the Euros and the season he's had has attracted interest from some of Europe's biggest clubs. And one of the biggest clubs we have here is Real Madrid. They're looking to take Payet. He is 29 years of age, unfortunately. You know, he's one of them players you just wish he was, like, 22 and he'd have, like, literally another 10 years of him because he's looking like, you know, one of the best players in the world at the minute. He's literally insane. So I wish he had a bit more, you know, so I wish he was younger, basically. We could see more of him for more years. But either way, are West Ham going to lose their best player? You know, because Real Madrid are hot on the tails. Yeah, he signed, he's the biggest, highest paid player at West Ham currently. If that made any sense in that sort of muddle of words. But will the 90-rated left me card join Real Madrid. The badge looks like it suits him. It's, it's a weird one. Next up, we've got another 90 rated player. Okay, like I say, these are just getting insane. There's another team this season card. We have Insign or Insigni. Oh, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not too sure. This guy is rumored, okay, to be going to Barcelona. That's right. Barcelona are really interested in this winger. So it's his actual agent that's confirmed that he's had contact with Barcelona. So it's not just a transfer rumor, you know, blown out of the air. Apparently, his agent has confirmed this. So will a deal be done for them? I mean, we'll have to wait and see. But the one thing about this guy is not just Barcelona are interested in him. As you guys can see from his agent, they saying that there was contra contact sorry from Barcelona but other clubs are also interested. I think from what this last statement is saying in the in this sort of interview or in this sort of meeting with the agent in Barcelona. Apparently the meeting however they made it clear that they are focused on other players. The Barcelona are saying we're kind of interested in you but we're looking at other players as well which are kind of more interested in which is a bit of a cock block. That's like going into a club and seeing a girl and saying you know you're not really the one I'm looking at I'm looking at the one next to you but if I can get her then I guess you'll do. I mean it's, <laughs> it's not really great is it? We're not sure how much the fee is going to be on that one. It hasn't been announced yet, but I'm guessing he's pretty big money. He's had a pretty good season, right? The third player is another 90 rated player, but don't worry, guys. The world record transfer one is going to be at the end. Okay, so stick around for number five because that one is a beauty. So this is another one where the agents come out and he said a few bits and bobs. Let's take a look at what he has said. He said he wants to go to Manchester United and we are still trying to resolve the situation. We are still talking to Dortmund. We are trying to be reasonable. They are aware that Mickey wants to leave now. So he's saying he wants to leave. This what his agent saying. His agent is also saying you know, he wants to go to Man United. So he's picked this club. He wants to leave. It looks like this one could be happening quite soon. The guy's only 24 years of age. Obviously, he's not playing at the Euros in a minute, so we're not seeing anything from him. So far, we've had one 90 rated leave in the Premier League. Another one coming in with Mikatarian. So it's Piat leaving, Mikatarian coming in. And then Signer and Signy going to Barcelona. So leaving the Serie A and joining the BBVA. So three pretty big transfers so far. Let's take it up another notch. Okay, the next player we've got is a 95 rated card. It's one of the biggest in FIFA. We have one of the strikers who's had an incredible season, okay? And he's looking to join, I mean, join an old rival here. We have Gonzalo Higuain. He's looking to join Atletico Madrid. Now, obviously, he's next Real Madrid player, so there's a little bit of friction there, a little bit of the you know, rub, but apparently Atletico are ready to offer 60 million, okay, plus a player for Gonzalo Higuain, but Napoli still won't sell him. The player, you know, rumoured to be going the other way is Crani Vita. I think that's how you pronounce it, so 60 million plus that player, but Napoli is still saying they're not interested in that. Napoli president is saying he won't release him for anything 
less than 94 million euro clause. Okay, so um, I know they're offering 60 million plus a player, but I think they want 94 million euro cash, which is just insane. The 28 year old shattered Serie A record this season with 36 goals in just 35 games. Now, obviously, that's an insane record. That's why you have the price tag you have. We've got other clubs looking at him like Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, and stuff, but are any of them going to pay 94 million euros? I don't really think so. That's like Ronaldo money, Bale money. I mean, if you just convert it to pounds, sterling, or whatever, that's, you know, serious money that I just don't think clubs are going to pay for him. That's such big money, and most clubs don't even have that sort of money to sign players. But we're coming into the big one, lads. The 97 rated card. The 97 rated FIFA card is rumored to be going to another club, okay? One of the biggest clubs in the world to another one of the biggest clubs in the world. It's a massive transfer. It's going to break records if it happens. And it's just a rumor currently. Could it happen? Let me know in the comments, but let's get in to the player. We have, ladies and gentlemen, Neymar, okay? And this guy is <laughs> rumoured to be joining PSG. PSG hoped to sign Barcelona star Neymar by activating a £153 million release clause as French club looked to replace Zlatan Ibrahimovic, okay? That is insane. £153 million for a player. Zlatan obviously is leaving. Looks like he could be going to Man United, which he's featured in previous transfer episodes if you want to watch them. But the way they're looking to replace him is one of the biggest transfers in history. Well, it is the biggest transfer in history and it will be for a very long time because if £153 million is spent on the player, I don't think that's going to be matched or upped for a very long time. All right, guys, who's here in the comment section really thinks that £153 million is going to be spent on a football player? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't think that's really going to happen. Apparently, I mean, this is this is really controversial to say, but Neymar only earns no £77,000 per week at Barcelona. Now, we've got players like bloody Stephen Fletcher earns more than that. He doesn't really, but, you know, I thought he would have earned more than that at Barcelona. So if he goes to PSG, he'll probably get like a quarter of a million a week out after tax. So on a personal level, we'll get paid shitloads of money and, uh, you know, Barcelona will get shitloads of money for him. So it's happy days for both parties if it happens, I suppose. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see a big fat transfer deadline live stream my channel, make sure you drop a like in this. Try and get 5,000 before 24 hours. Has been a pleasure as always. Have a good weekend. Hopefully you haven't enjoyed this double transfer episode weekend. Peace.